you know, Dan. Yes, sir. Uh, look, bitches be shopping. <laughs> <laughs> you can't I wrong? deny it. You can't deny <laughs> can't. it. Yeah, it's a, it's a classic yeah. canard. As as a gay guy, I like to shout that loudly sometimes and just see what happens. Because <laughs> yeah, as a white yeah. guy too, you should do that. As a as a mature white man with yeah. with what I with what I admitted to recently on Twitter is a podcaster's body. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I, uh, I think I, I think here's the thing: bitches do be shopping, but they also be cray. And let's uh, let's just admit that, and yeah. and realize that the people who should decide the fate of said bitches of these cray of these cray shoppers should be old white men. Old white men, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, Uncle Doug, uh, do you have any any insights into the how what old white men are saying about about the bitches lately? I do. Oh, well, good. Well, give us uncles- the latest in old white man opinions. <laughs> um, well, uncles. The Mormon Church. Hooray! <laughs> Need I say more? <laughs> it the has been end. the editorial position of this podcast that the Mormon Church never misses an opportunity to miss an opportunity. <laughs> never. The last, the last few weeks have proven this to be ever so true. You may have noticed in the last several months that the Equal Rights Amendment has made an unexpected return to the spotlight. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar with the ERA, let me give you just a little refresher. Um, fresh off their victory with the 19th Amendment granting women the, the right to vote. Women in this country got a little bit too uppity and decided to enshrine their right to equal treatment under the law into the Constitution. So, in 1923, Alice Paul and Crystal Eastman, two badass suffragettes, wrote the ERA and had it introduced to Congress that year. It didn't go anywhere, but it didn't go away. Um, The amendment is very simple. I'll read the whole thing right now. Ready? Yep. Section 1. Equality of rights under the law shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of sex. Section two, the Congress shall have the power to enforce by appropriate legislation the provisions of this article. Section three, the amendment shall take effect two years after the date of ratification. The end. Outrageous. (laughs) (laughs) So um, that's it. It said nothing about sandwiches. (laughs) Um, With the rise of the women's movement, the amendment began to pick up significant support in the 1960s. And in 1971, it was reintroduced to Congress. It passed both houses in 1972 and was sent to the state legislatures for ratification. Um, Mm. It passed the House, by the way, 354 to 23. Holy crap. And the Senate, 84 to 8. And before you ask, Orrin Hatch did vote against it. Of course he did. Yeah. Yeah. Surprise. Somebody's got to be in that that eight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, A quick reminder, according to Article 5 of the Constitution, an amendment may be proposed either by Congress or by two-thirds of state legislatures. Once proposed, it must be passed by two-thirds of both houses of Congress and then by three-quarters of the state legislatures, three-quarters of 50 being 38. So 38 state legislatures had to um, ratify this amendment. Right. Congress put a sunset provision on the ERA for March 22nd, 1979. Um, A lot of the time, in modern times, amendments have sunset provisions just kind of to like make sure they get moved along. And everybody mm. expected this to pass. By, by 1977, 35 states had ratified the ERA. It enjoyed bri- broad bipartisan support and the support of Presidents Nixon, Ford, and Carter. Um, wow. And ratification by the last three remaining states seemed certain. Well, every, <laughs> well fuck you. <laughs> every story needs a villain. And since Thanos was busy and Hannibal Lecter was locked up, enter <laughs> Phyllis Schlafly. Oh, the, yeah. she's a beaut. She is. For those of you lucky uh, enough not to know who this petrified scold is, uh, I'm going to ruin your day. Uh, until her black heart stopped beating back in 2016, she was the champion of everything evil and vile in American life for the past 50 years. Mm-hmm. Um, imagine that in the world of the man in the high castle, there was a Nazi version of Nancy Reagan. That's Phyllis Schlafly. <laughs> what do you mean a Nazi version of Nancy? You mean <laughs> no, another I think, Nazi I think version Phyllis of Schlafly Nancy Reagan? Phyllis Schlafly was the Nazi version of Phyllis Schlafly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, you know, they're making it. The, when I was in Toronto earlier this year, they're making a movie uh, about her there. Oh, you they're kidding? They're making a movie. I think it's called Mrs. America. Yikes. Nice. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, what possible beef could uh, this woman have with the ERA? Well, yeah, she being a woman and all. All that, right? In the Eagle Forum newsletter, she penned an article called What's Wrong with Equal Rights for Women? In which she argued that the ERA would lead to... There was something. Exactly. (laughs) 
Uh, the ERA would lead to, quote, government-funded abortions, homosexual school teachers, women forced into <laughs> military combat, and men refusing to support their wives. So, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, her efforts were very successful, and she basically single-handedly stopped the ERA dead in its tracks. No further states ratified it, and it died on the vine in 79. Uh, as it turns out, Schlafly's view that women are nothing more than uteruses with legs dovetailed perfectly with several conservative southern states and one very weird southwestern state where we currently reside. Yeah. Mm. I'm old enough to remember our mother, Uncle Mark, being a fierce oh, yeah. critic of the ERA and absolutely lionizing <laughs> Schlafly. If you mean f- – by, by fierce critic, you mean going literally apoplectic and <laughs> foaming at the mouth, unable to form words – when women were on the little black and white television with the ERA signs, yes. Yeah, that's that what I mean. Was a, yeah. yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah, most of her op- opposition was based on her deep hatred of feminism and the women's liberation movement. And women. She just hated, yeah. And she was not alone. She No, no. Not had, by any stretch. Um, <clears throat> so what's great is that if you're effective at indoctrinating humans, you can get them to be fully against them, their damn selves. Yeah, as we are watching play out yeah. in real time in it's our country. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. I remember, I'll never forget something she said one time when we were watching uh, the news and there was an ER th- ERA thing on, she was furious. And she said, those bitches think they're better than me. Oh. And that was chilling. Wow. Right? Wow. It was chilling because it's like, I am, I am, you know, I'm a Mormon woman. I'm 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 a second class citizen to my 12 year old son, yep. right? I'm I'm a helpmeet, and what is it with these people that think they're better than that? Yeah, it was dark. It was a, it's a little dark moment there, yeah. in, in an otherwise sunny youth. <laughs> I thought you were going to say it was dark because you heard your Mormon mother swear. <laughs> oh, she swore all the time. Yeah, she did swear all the time. Yeah. Um, my my mom the 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 deepest cut she got on swearing was hell's bells. And <laughs> and if she was really really upset, you might get a damn out of her. Oh wow! Yeah, wow. Um, uh, in the early 2010s, a movement began in this country to try and remove the sunset provision from the original ERA and therefore to revive it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Although to, at this point it's been unsuccessful. <clears throat> if it's removed, that would mean that the with the original congressional vote and the 35 state ratifications, we would only need three more states to ratify it, and it could theoretically become a part of the Constitution. All these Hmm. years later. All these years later. And in that environment, and in spite of the poisonous state of our current politics, in 2017, Nevada ratified it, and in 2018, so did Illinois. So... Hmm. That means we only need one more state legislature to hit the thirty-eight states, and there's a pro. And, and states can't go back and say and and say take backs. We we don't want it anymore. Five of them have. Oh, really? But they're not oh. part of that thirty-seven. What? So they're oh. part of the other group of states. Okay. So five states, uh, several states ratified it and then rescinded it. Five states, including our own, um, never even tried to ratify it. Right. <clears throat> so, um. Yeah, so it has to be said that even if those 38 states do, it's far from legally certain what happens next, but it would be a sizable political moral and moral victory that might drive popular opinion. Which brings us to this week. Here in our own, our own home state, ERA supporters, including a group called Mormons for ERA, started hmm. trying to gain public support for our state legislature to be that 38th vote. Hmm. Initially, when they started talking about it, the Mormon church remained silent, which ERA advocates took as support or at least the lack of opposition. Right. So for our I mean, state... I mean, right, that that's what they believed. Yeah. Probably, I'm going to guess, think, not... Their belief was not right. I think we all know where the story's going. <laughs> um, for our out-of-state listeners, the Mormon Church calls the shots in our state legislature to a degree and in a way that would truly shock you. It's over. Yeah. It's straight up. And yeah. so silence from the church on this issue was a big deal. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so to, th- to, to the point where... It, our local beloved political cartoonist Pat Bagley, uh, one of his one of his books has the most brilliant thing uh, image I've seen about this, which is the Mormon Temple, which has if you don't know, it's got a a, a golden statue on top of a, of an angel blowing a horn, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, and he and the horn in this image is pointed directly at a puppy dog sitting on top of the Capitol building listening intently with to its, the horn with its ear up yeah his, his, his master's his, voice his master's yeah. voice yeah yeah, yeah. so very good. Uh, as uncle dan hinted at for those of you thinking that the mormon church might this time 
find even accidentally itself on the right side of history, prepare to (laughs) be disappointed. (laughs) Um, It's not exactly like Lucy in the football, because for Mormons, Lucy's only on the field because of that goddamn Title (laughs) IX. There's no way they let girls and boys play the same sport anyway. (laughs) Yeah. And so it was on on Tuesday of last week, church spokesman Doug Anderson said the following, <laughs> quote, the church's position on this on the issue has been consistent for more than 40 years, end quote. That is to say, back to the kitchen, bitches. <laughs> and with that one uh, non-denial denial, any hopes that Utah would join the 37 states in the 21st century were dashed. So, yeah. There you go. There you go. We've talked about progressive organizations trying to change the Mormon church from within many times. And I really do hate to piss in anyone's Cheerios who's trying to make the world a better place. So I'll simply say this to Mormons for ERA, because I know you're listening. (laughs) What you're trying to do is noble, but you must understand one thing. The reason the Mormon church is opposed to the Equal Rights Amendment is because they are opposed to equal rights. They do not want equal rights for women because they do not think you deserve them. So, Look, look, there's a division... There's a there's a heavenly and divinely inspired division between the sexes. That's right. Women are doctrinally second class citizens in the Mormon Church. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, men can mar- Why is this so hard to understand, it's, people? Right. Men can marry many women. Women can only be married to one man. Yeah. Men can mm-hmm. be the clergy in the church. Women cannot. Women are encouraged not to pursue careers, but to stay home and raise families. Girls are taught to dress modestly, and that sexual indiscretion is primarily their fault. Mm-hmm. Whatever matrix of belief you want to try to apply to these facts, Occam's razor leaves us with only one possible explanation, that the Mormon church thinks that you are property and you already have all the rights and privileges you deserve. They thought this 40 years ago. They will think this 40 years from now. <laughs> yeah. The only question yeah. is how long are you going to be giving them your money and your support? In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's literally true. <clears throat> it's literally part of Jesus. God, sorry, you could choke me up there with the, the Jesus Christ at the end. It was very spiritual. <laughs> very spiritual. But um, it is literally true that a Mormon, a mature Mormon woman married to her husband, maybe she owns a business, maybe she's got a big PhD and a big brain and all that stuff, but she is outranked by her 12-year-old booger-picking son on his 12th birthday. Yep. Right? Mm-hmm. Well, He's, but that's he... only because, and in fairness, it is, this is the only reason, because he has magic powers and she doesn't. So That's right. He is now a wizard <laughs> in a clip-on tie. And you better do what he says, woman. Uh, yeah, it's, it's vile. But, but uh, Doug, Virginia, you, uh, you might have mentioned Virginia, right? That it looks like it might be the tipper. Yeah, Virginia's looking like it might be it. Which is yeah. funny. So, yeah, go ahead. Well, it's just, it's just funny because then Utah had this opportunity to be yeah. awesome. And like a bunch of our legislators saw it. Yep. And we're talking about it. Yeah. And then one little whisper. Yep, just a from single the, sentence. From the church office building. And suddenly it was like, Oh, never mind. Yep. We're just kidding. Go, Virginia. Have fun. That's right. It was beyond dead. But yeah, if so, Doug, if, Virgi- if Virginia passes it, is it does it become it's legally a constitutional quite, amendment? It, it's, it, it's, so this has never happened before, this particular scenario. Yeah. So it is unclear uh, whether it will just automatically become an amendment um, because if the vote were held today in the same Congress, we all know how it would shake out. Yeah. Sure. And uh, the 38 state legislatures would probably re-ratify it because they remain enlightened. Yeah. Uh, but we just don't know. So, but, but the thing is, it will, it, you know, if you remove that sunset, Virginia passes it, then you have an amendment that's passed Congress by two thirds and that three quarters of the state legislatures have, have, have ratified. So, so technically, it's, technically, I mean, it's how do you remove the sunset though? You have that has to be passed by Congress, doesn't it? Uh, yes, it does. That's and, that's the uh, uphill battle. Have you seen what our Congress looks <laughs> exactly. like? Exactly, that's right. This is yeah. not going to happen yeah. today. So, so does the sunset need to be removed by two thirds of both houses? No, the sunset only apparently needs to be removed by a majority. It's interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, which so is which would work just great in the possible. house, and yeah. n- we'll have to. Hold out a second for the for the Senate. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, the, I mean, it's, the Senate is full of what are they called? Um, oh fuck, uh, Christians. Dickheads. So that's not oh, going to happen. Men. <laughs> yeah. So that's not going to happen. So oh well. Nice well, try, it, ladies. Yeah. And, and, and it's, <laughs> if it's going to be you know what, the thirty eighth state ain't going to be Utah. Right. That's the end of that. Yeah. So, try again no. in another forty years. We'll, <laughs> yeah. we'll get this eventually. 
All right. Well, thanks, Uncle Doug. I'm depressed. Well, ladies, get keep on marching, and we'll march with you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs>